All right, everyone, hello, and welcome back to another Monster Hunter Rise video. Keeping on with the Switch Axe. This time, we're going to be messing around with Elemental Switch Axe, and as I told you in yesterday's video, this as well has a very powerful secret. And so, knowing what we know about files now and the damage that they do, right? So, every file now does 10% motion value of, of your raw. Uh, they cannot crit. They are, however, affected by sharpness, and they will also deal whatever elemental damage you have. Think to yourself, how how can we balance power file, right? So power file does take a very long time to charge up, but it gives us 15% more raw. What can we possibly do in order to make elemental file more powerful? Would it need to be 15% as well? 30%? More? Well, I can say with my testing, uh, it's a lot. Um, this weapon really kind of got the developer's attention in terms of balancing it to make sure that people would want to use it along with other things. It is now a full 45% extra element on your Switch Axe uh, when you're in sword mode for the elemental damage that you're dealing. And that goes for the damage that you deal in your sword. And that goes also for the files that you deal as well. So in terms of files and elemental files, uh, we've got two really amazing choices. Uh, one choice you've probably already used. A lot of people were using the Baryoth switch axe just regularly because it's just a good switch axe. Uh, you can get it to white sharpness very well. It's got a decent amount of already like okay affinity it has like not bad raw i think it has a ramp up skill that gives it just like an additional 10 raw on top of i think it's 180 so it's like 190 which is which is fine um for a weapon that already has like white sharpness and, and a bunch of other things almadron's a little bit different obviously almadron is going to be a lot of work to put together it requires an almadron orb i know almadron specifically gives players a lot of issues he has a lot of weird, goofy attacks that, you know, kind of make it hard for you to know whether you're going to have to hit him in the head, hit him in the tail, dodge out of the way. But it is worth it because not only does the weapon have like an insane base amount of element, uh, there's two ramp up skills on it. There is a water attack up, I think two, which is like not bad, but it's not good. And then it has elemental exploit. So you may, if you've been following all my videos, which if you haven't, Check out the playlist. <laughs> It'll be up at the end of the end of the video. Click on that. Check them out. Uh, if you've been following the dual blade videos that I've been doing, I'm talking about how elemental exploit is great for weapons that already have a lot of element against monsters that you're going to be consistently hitting that have a hit zone of over 25% weakness on that elemental hit zone. So 25% or more. You'll know that when I was talking about Almadron Dual Blades against Anjanoth, I wasn't as big of a fan of them. Um, it's pretty hard with Dual Blades to consistently hit Anjanoth's face. However, with the Switch Axe, of course, obviously, uh, if we're charged up, we can very easily latch on and continue to uh, inflict damage the entire time. Plus, our normal sword mode has its, its overall uh, kind of like wide-reaching sweeps. I tried, by the way, to, to one zone Anjanov here uh, a couple times. If I really kept at it for a while, I'm pretty sure I could. Um, we'll see here in a moment, though. We, we take him down relatively quickly. So overall, like, landscape of where we are with switch axes now is actually very interesting. Um, there's so many viable choices. You have, you know, your normal raw switch axes uh, from which you can use either like Magnum Aldo. I know it's blast, but I technically consider it raw. You have uh, your Conqueress, which is your ore line with the exhaust on there. It's also very good. Uh, will help get you some KOs, probably one or two KOs per fight, along with exhausting the monster relatively quickly. Um, you have the, uh, was it? Fell Drac line and your Bishatin line, which are both dragon lines, so if something takes any dragon damage, the dragon itself, those files 
heat up basically immediately. Uh, the only thing is, is that, you know, outside of just getting the file damage, all it does is give you an additional 5% dragon. It's not really great. But for something that you're going to be fighting very quickly or for something that, you know, you're planning to just charge up and, and do a lot of charge attacks on to stay latched on, it could be okay. Um, power files are good. Um, you know, outside of that, for Thunder, you have the Zenogar Switch Axe, which is really, really good uh, for anything that takes, like, a good mixture between power, like, some raw damage as well as other things. And so right now, we're going to go ahead and show off the difference between Elemental Exploit. So on the head and on the body. Head takes 30% element and 100% raw. Body takes 60% raw, 20% element. So we he see here 15260, not crit, 12160. And then on the body, 7034. And then 8934. And we're going to go back and I'm going to switch this out. And we're going to switch it into just the standard file. So the we're going to just put our, our water attack on understanding that we would end up doing less damage to the head, but then also subsequently be able to do a little bit more damage to the body. Uh, Narwa, if she ever gets an upgrade, is element file and is in a great position to be a really great elemental thunder switch axe, but right now it's just not where it needs to be. Firewise, I'm not a huge fan of Anjanoth or Rathalos. I feel like the files on them got flipped. Uh, maybe if Rathalos gets an additional upgrade, it'll end up becoming a good raw power file with like a lot of additional element on there as well. It remains to be seen though. Okay, so 117.56, so that's four less on the file, right? And then see 140 on the head. So it's about six less on the head. And then 91.36. So we're basically doing three more damage to the body in this configuration, but we're doing six less damage to the head. I would say in Switch Axe's case, uh, absolutely worth taking Elemental Exploit here. It has well more than enough um, element on it to make Elemental Exploit worthwhile. I'm going to go ahead and show off my, my Barry offset as well, just so you have that. If you want to see more of these builds... You want to see them being made and tested in real time. Make sure to come by my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash sdshepard. Stream there every day. I've been trying to start around noon Eastern time. It's good for people in the U.S. It's good for, for people in Europe. So, so come by around then. Love to see you there. Um, so yeah, I've got two different forms. I think my preference is with protective polish. Locking in that white sharpness does a lot for our file damage. And just with this configuration, it just works out pretty well as well. Okay, so that's it for now. My plan for the next video is to kind of go over Rampage. You may think there's not much to know there. Um, there's a lot of ways to maximize your rewards, and that's what we're going to go over with. So look forward to that tomorrow. Otherwise, until next time, I love you. Good luck, and have a good hunt.